Sleeping poorly can hurt your deadlift and your back. And I don't just mean the position that you're sleeping in. I mean, if I'm only sleeping five hours a night, not my normal eight hours that I'm looking for, if I'm sleeping five hours a night, my body isn't recovering, my cells aren't recovering, and it actually promotes this inflammatory state within my body. And <laughs> I, I don't have you know, research papers to support this. I don't know exactly what's happening, but I know that I've seen it. I know that people who don't sleep well don't move well, okay? So what we're talking about here is this, um, this lack of recovery or this pro-inflammatory state. They have more inflammation in their body and that's, um, it just starts to attack itself and it, your body has these protective mechanisms. If you watch my last video, on nutrition, it's the same kind of principle here. So this pro-inflammatory state uh, keeps my abdomen from, or prevents my abdomen from being able to tolerate increased pressure, like the pressure that I need during a deadlift, okay? And so what happens is I shut my abs off, okay? And I get this little pooch belly. We talked about that in the last video. I get this little sway back position I kind of showed you that before. And all these things happen. So my hips open up in the front and they close a lot in the back. I get really tight back here, maybe just throughout the day, maybe during my deadlift, right? So if you're feeling that over and over and over again and none of the positional cues that you give yourself during your deadlift are helping, you can't find any exercise to help you find the right positions, maybe, you need to look somewhere else. Maybe, like in our last video, you need to look at your nutrition, or maybe, like in today's video, you need to look at your sleep. So make sure you're sleeping eight to nine hours a night. Try to do anything you can to make it a regular start and ending time, and try to do anything you can to sleep all the way through the night. Um, if you need some help sometimes, uh, first thing that I'm recommending is get those times down. So go to bed at the same time, wake up at the same time. Um, other things, you could do some very light, like yoga type exercise before bed. Uh, I like to give clients very particular, we call them neurological resets. So these exercises help calm their nervous system down and helps kind of support some sleep. If you do too much exercise, that's gonna turn you up. So you gotta be careful there. Um, I wouldn't do a whole routine, I'd just do a select exercise that you find calming. Uh, other than that, don't eat big meals, uh, don't stare at your phone or a TV or a blue light for your camera. <laughs> Luckily it's still early, I'm good, I'm good. Um, those are just some, some ideas. Um, sleep is a very broad and complex topic. If you need more help with that, Google it.